Introduction to Text and Graphic Content Creation. Welcome to this unit. This unit outlined text and graphic creation for multimedia enhanced lesson. Text is one of the foundational elements of multimedia. It can be used to provide information, convey messages, or guide the learners through the multimedia experience. Text is often combined with other media elements to enhance understanding and engagement. This includes written content such as headlines, captions, and body text. Text is used to provide information and context to the multimedia presentation. In multimedia, text is mostly used for titles, headlines, menu, paragraph, list, and many others. Creating multimedia text is multidimensional and it is relative to the content that will be produced. The most commonly used software for viewing and creating text files are Microsoft Word, Notepad, WordPad, and many others. Texts are often found in other multimedia creation tools and software to give the user the convenience of integrating text in other multimedia element. Designing and formatting text. Text can be formatted in different styles, shapes, formats, and sizes. Effect can be added to text to make it dynamic and changing to enhance engagement and retain attention. Text can be formatted using different tools depending on the content to be produced and the software or application you are using. While using a multimedia tool like Microsoft PowerPoint, engaging text can be created using the simple PowerPoint tools. Graphics and images, on the other hand, are visual elements that are used to enhance the overall appeal of multimedia content. They can be photographs, illustrations, icons, or charts and graphs. Graphics and images help in conveying emotions, representing data visually, and creating visual interest. Creating graphic or images require creativity to effectively present the idea concept, or information the teacher intends to pass. Graphic and Picture Format There are different graphic file formats depending on the nature of the content you intend to create. The most common formats are as follows. Tagged Image File Format or TIFF are lossless image files which do not lose any image quality or information. Although there are options for compression, TIFF images allow very high quality images and larger file sizes. Such image formats are best used for high quality prints, professional publications and archival copies. They can also be saved as transparent. Bitmap or BMP image file is a format developed by Microsoft for Windows. There is no compression or information loss with BMP files. This allows images to have very high quality and also retain very large file sizes. Due to bitmap images being a copyrighted format, it is generally depreciated in favor of tagged image file format files. Using bitmap images in a multimedia enhanced lesson will require having copyright approval from Microsoft. JPEG, which stands for Joint Photographic Experts Groups, is a lossy format, which means the image is compressed to make it a smaller file. The compression does not create a loss in quality, but this loss is generally not noticeable. JPEG files are very common on the internet. They are popular format for digital cameras, mobile phone cameras, making it ideal for web use and non-professional prints. 
JPEG images are efficient for high-quality scan and archival copies. It is convenient for integration into various multimedia applications and software like video editing softwares, graphic and image softwares, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoints, Paintbrush, among others. It is also suitable for online and social media platforms. GIF or Graphics Interchange Format files are widely used for web graphics because they are limited to only 256 colors, can allow for transparency and can be animated. GIF files are typically small in size and very portable. They are regarded as lossless because they retain their quality after compression. They can be animated and are more suitable for web images. PNG or Portable Network Graphics files are a lossless image format originally designed to improve upon and replace the GIF format. PNG files are able to handle up to 16 million colors, unlike the 256 colors supported by GIF. PNG files are best known for having transparent background, making it convenient for video productions, presentations and graphic design. They are also suitable for multimedia creation software, web images, infographics, presentations, among others. An EPS or encapsulated postscript file is a common vector file type. EPS files can be opened in many illustration applications such as Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. It is best used for vector artwork and illustrations. Raw images are images that are unprocessed that have been created by a camera or scanner. Many digital SLR cameras can shoot in RAW, whether it is .RAW, .CR2 or .NEF. These RAW images are the equivalent of a digital negative, meaning that they hold a lot of image information. They need to be processed in an editor such as Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom and similar editing softwares. Taking quality pictures for multimedia enhanced lesson. A photograph is worth a thousand words through which a complex idea can be conveyed with just a single still image. Pictures make it possible to absorb large amounts of data quickly. Using photographs for explaining complex phenomena is one of the teaching aids of modern education system that is practiced all over the world. To take quality pictures for multimedia enhanced lessons, it is important to consider the following tips. Use good lighting. Good lighting is essential for taking quality pictures. You can use natural light or artificial light to illuminate your subject. If you're using artificial light, it is important to consider how the subject is exposed to the lighting. Consider using not too harsh or too dim lighting on your subject. Use a tripod. A tripod can help you stabilize your camera and prevent blurry pictures. It is especially useful when taking pictures in low light conditions. It also gives you the ability to maintain focus on your subject. Use the rule of thirds. This can help you create visually appealing pictures. It involves dividing your frame into thirds both horizontally and vertically and placing your subject at the intersection of these lines. Use a high-resolution camera. A high-resolution camera can help you capture more detail in your pictures. If you do not have a high-resolution camera, you can use your smartphone camera 
which can also take high quality pictures. Edit your pictures. Editing your pictures can help you enhance their quality. You can use photo editing software to adjust the brightness, contrast and color of your pictures. By applying these simple tips, you will be able to create a very good picture quality for your multimedia enhanced lesson. We have come to the end of this video.